Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar and I'm a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. Today we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing some products from Atlas Pet Company. So Atlas Pet Company was nice enough to reach out to me and offered to send me some of their products so that I could play around with them and see how I liked them. And I do have enough to say about these products that I decided to make a whole review video dedicated to them. After they reached out, I immediately started researching the brand. One of the biggest things that drew me to this company was Atlas Pet Company has such a big push for harnesses are for walking, collars are for fashion and holding onto ID tags, and you should be using both, which is something that I 100% agree with and something that I'm a big advocate for. I've made videos here on my YouTube channel in the past about why you should be walking your dog on a harness, why collar walking can damage the neck, the trachea, all the other nerves and organs that are protected in the neck, and it's just overall so much better, so much safer for the dog to be walking on a harness. I also naturally grilled them about their company ethics as far as training methods are concerned, and I'm very excited to report that they are a positive reinforcement based company, they do not agree with the use of aversives, and I'm just I love supporting brands that share science-based and humane values when it comes to their gear and training. So, super excited and let's go ahead and we'll get on into the review. Atlas Pet Company sent me their Lifetime Kit, which includes the Lifetime Leash, Lifetime Harness, Lifetime Pouch, and then I also got the Lifetime Collar. I was able to pick the sizes and colors for all of these things and I was able to kind of get some use both on the streets and on the trail with these products before I came here to review them for you. I wanted to make sure that I put these things through like a month of testing before I brought my thoughts to you guys so that I could give you the best review that I could of these products. Let's go ahead and start the leash. The Lifetime leash itself is made of that more durable thick rope as opposed to a nylon like most traditional leashes are and some people love that, some people not so much. I'm one of those people where because this one in particular is still relatively thin but strong, I really like it. Some rope leashes can get really wide and thick and bulky, and those ones can be definitely a pain in the butt. Um, but this one here has a really good width. It's also kind of smooth enough in the hand, so as I'm walking it's not chafing or awkward to hold. What I really love about this leash, and when I figured out that it works this way, I, I don't want to say that I screamed. But I was super excited. One of the first things that I was super excited about is that this is a lobster clasp leash. So typically when you're dealing with standard leashes, when you go to clip it, it has that little knob on the end. Sometimes your thumb makes it, sometimes it doesn't, and it opens that way. These lobster claw leashes are so much easier to maneuver. They're so much easier to get on and off. They work like a little lobster claw, and the part that you put your thumb on is much bigger. I personally like these because they're super easy, you just grab it and you can put it on, there's no fumbling with it. But also a lot of my clients are older, um, they might not have the best mobility in their hands, not the best dexterity, and oftentimes will struggle with the more traditional leash style. So the fact that this is a lobster claw, very exciting for me, and I do know that I have clients that are going to really benefit from something like this. Additionally. These leashes, when you clip it on to the leash itself, it fits perfectly. They're meant to be used as an emergency slip lead for those instances where you need a slip lead for whatever reason. However, I like to wear my leashes. I take the dogs hiking a couple times a week. We are able to go out to a place where they're able to be off leash safely. It's a nice hiking experience for us. There's tons of trails. And I like to wear my leash around my body so that way when I do need to call my dogs back to me and put them on leash, whether it's because there's another dog coming, there's people crossing, we're crossing a street, whatever, I'm able to super easily just like go straight from my chest, unclip it for myself, clip it on my dog, bring the leash over my shoulder, super easy as opposed to kind of like fumbling in the pockets trying to get the leash out. I wear my leashes and the fact that this clips directly onto the leash and it fits perfectly is super super exciting for me. Traditionally I'll usually put a poop bag dispenser ring on the end and be able to clip my traditional leashes to that ring instead of onto itself because it doesn't really fit. But these ones I love. They're super easy to get on and off because of the lobster clasp. Super easy to just throw back around myself, clip on, clip off when I need to get a dog. This leash is probably my fave, not even probably, 
This leash is my favorite leash that I own. I own quite a few from a bunch of different brands, um, but this one has become my new favorite and I need to get another one for my other dog, obviously. That brings us nice and easy to the poop bag dispenser. So this is the Lifetime Pouch. And I gotta say, when I was putting it on for the first time, I was super confused and that's entirely my fault. They gave me a nice little sheet of paper with directions. And you know what I did with those? Put them way off to the side. Ignored it, this is the poop bag dispenser. I know how to put this on, I did not. But once I figured it out, it was super easy to get on. And again, I love this poop bag dispenser and that sounds really dumb because it holds poop bags, but this one here hugs close to the leash. It has loops on both the top and the bottom so that it's like held snugly to the leash and that is so much better than the dangly plastic poop bag dispensers. Like I said, my dogs, we go hiking all the time. I like the fact this is nice and close to the chest when I wear the leash. That can be said of pretty much any poop bag dispenser, but this one looks good. It doesn't clunk against things because it's not plastic and dangling. My dogs also will drag their leashes often. If we go into a pet store and like they know us, there's no one else there. My dogs will drag their leashes around the whole store, have a good little sniffari, meet me at the counter, we'll check out, and I just pick up their leashes and go. Because of that, I'm so used to hearing exactly where they are because they have that big stupid plastic poop bag dispenser bouncing around the floors being super annoying and that's not the case anymore. So this poop bag dispenser, again, I am super impressed with and it has the nice little zipper so that you can easily get the poop bags in and out. Mine is a little on the musty dusty side because again, I've been using it for the last month or so and I've been using it anytime I take my dogs out anywhere. So. Poop bag dispenser, 10 out of 10. I think it's fantastic. Next we have the Lifetime Collar. And with this, I totally get what they were trying to do. And I think that it could have been really, really cool. However, it just didn't work for my dogs. So like I said before, their big thing is collars are made for fashion and ID tags. Harnesses are made for walking. Totally agree with you there, 100%. So with this in mind, their Lifetime Collar is intended to be made to easily just slip on and off. It's not intended to be used to clip the leash onto for going on a walk. Um, so it allows a little bit more of a comfortable, loose fit. With that said, when I was online trying to figure out what sizes to go for with my dogs, they gave measurements for the next circumference. I went based off of the measurements for the next circumference of my dogs. And I guess what I didn't realize until I got it is that it it really does just, it's meant to slip over the head. I thought this collar would have a little bit of stretch to it so that you're able to kind of stretch it over the head and onto the neck, but it's made of the exact same material as the leash. So it's that same nice heavy duty rope, it just has no stretch to it. So I initially got this, I was gonna have my Silver Lab Luna have the whole setup, it was gonna look super nice. Obviously from the footage that I have of it actually being worn, Misty got to model it, which is totally fine, but yeah, it would not go over Luna's head, she has a big block head, and they both have sensitive ears. So it was not gonna go over Luna's head. Misty's head, it went over. She was not super happy about it, because again, sensitive ears, which is pretty common for dogs. I was expecting a little bit stretchier. I really liked the idea. I do actually really like the look of these collars though. So if they were to add the buckle they have on their harness or their other products, or if they were to just make it stretchier so it would fit over their head a little bit easier without hitting their ears. I think that I would really like this particular collar. My dogs are naked most of the time. We are constantly taking their collars off and on throughout a day. They'll probably have it taken off and on three to four times. So being able to do that with a collar that doesn't fit quite well over the head is just not possible for us. And last but not least, we have the Lifetime Harness. This is made to be a front clip no pull harness, which front clip harnesses when they are well fitting to the dog, absolutely my favorite harness 100%. If you ever are asking me what kind of harness should I be using for my dogs, a front clip well fitting harness that does not restrict movement. That is my best recommendation. And keeping that in mind, we'll go through some of the pros and cons of this particular harness. Before I get into the critiques of the harness, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the things that I'm actually really excited about. 
because there are some things that I'm super excited about and I think that if they were to take these elements into maybe a different style of harness that it would be absolutely perfect and be my favorite harness of all time to the point where I emailed them and I was like hey here's what I think you should uh, make it differently I can help you and we can make this perfect so definitely this harness has a ton of redeeming qualities and that's what we're gonna start with so let's talk about this buckle for a minute because I'm obsessed with this buckle and that's the redeeming quality these buckles on the Atlas Pet Company products absolutely fantastic they are my favorite thing in the world and it impressed both me and my partner and between the two of us we have over 15 years of pet retail experience so we've seen a couple products we've tested a couple products and this is the first time that I've seen something like this and I'm very excited about it so this particular buckle is magnetic so it's super strong as I'm pulling on it it's not coming undone I can wiggle it around and it's not coming undone you pull this little lever and that releases it and then it's totally off you go to put it on and it just magnets right on. Between this and the lobster clasp, it kind of makes me wonder if someone who helps to make the Atlas Pet products has limited mobility in their hands. Because both of these types of clasps and buckles are absolutely geared towards, in my opinion, people who need a little extra support with, you know, those common findings, the leash head and the buckles that can be really difficult for a lot of people. And I, even as someone with pretty good dexterity in my hands, despite playing instruments for so long, I love these buckles. Like, I love them. They're magnetic, they clip on really well, they stay put really, really well. I just, I'm just gonna spend a good portion of this video talking about buckles and clasps because I love them. So on to the cons of the harness. This is marketed as a no pull harness. And with a lot of no-pull harnesses, they have the same similar design where they go across the front of the chest. I'm not the biggest fan of these harnesses. I get why they exist. I get why people recommend them. And they do work, but I consider these to be stepping stone harnesses. So for those people that really need a whole lot of extra support when they're first teaching leash manners and then the end goal is to get into a more well-fitting non-restrictive front clip harness this is a great stepping stone these are again also great alternatives for those people who are interested in or think that they need more aversive tools in order to teach their dogs not to pull on the leash and to teach leash manners these are a great alternative because they do offer more easily identifiable benefits. Um, once you put it on and walk your dog in a circle a couple times, you notice a pretty good difference just before and after. And it's usually enough to get those people away from the aversive methods onto something quite a bit more humane. So we have that going for them. I totally get their existence. I get why they've become so popular. However, these harnesses, because they go across the shoulder, they cross over points of movement in the dog's shoulder. Regardless of whether or not your dog's pulling, because it does cross over that line, it can cause some damage to the shoulder and the muscles there. If you look at this diagram, you can actually see the way that a dog's leg forms, and you can see where, since this crosses those lines, it's gonna inhibit some movement. So, yes, there are some harnesses that are better than others. There are some that sit a little bit higher up, so they're not crossing over the points as much. But with these harnesses, because they cross over those points, they are going to affect the way that the dog walks to a certain extent, and this can cause damage over time. So because of this, like I said, it's a stepping stone tool, it's a stepping stone harness, but the end goal is definitely to get you into something better fitting like a rough wear harness or like the Blue Nine harnesses. They allow the dog to explore their full range of motion with their shoulders and it helps to prevent those shoulder injuries that walking consistently in these harnesses can take on. So overall for the harness, the style I'm not the biggest fan of and the buckles I am a gigantic fan of. So I think that if they were to take kind of the aspects of this harness and put it into a different shape and structure, it would be my favorite harness. 
I'm gonna say that right now. So outside of the lifetime kit that I've received, they do have a couple other products that I'm actually pretty interested in trying out. They have a lifetime light leash, and that one's more of your traditional nylon, but it also has the cool buckle on the handle, so you're able to like unbuckle it and put it around a picnic table or what have you. Um, so that's one that I would be interested in trying out as well. I think definitely their lifetime light collar is going to be one that I'm going to look into for my dogs because, again, it's your more traditional nylon, but it's adjustable and it also has that cool buckle clip so that you can easily snap it on and off. I think definitely for my dogs and my lifestyle, that one's going to be much more appropriate. And they do have a couple other harnesses, but I have the same issue with them where they cross against too many of those points of movement within the dog's shoulder. So harness wise, I think that, you know, meh. but their leashes and their collars, I really love. And that buckle I think is so cool. I'm not going to shut up about the buckle. I'm so sorry. I really like those buckles. If you would like to see me review other products from Atlas Pet Company, or if you would like me to review any other brands or any other leashes, collars, harnesses, if there's any that you think that I would really like and be excited about, let me know down in the comments below. Also be sure to give this video a big like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. We have fun here, we talk a lot about pet nutrition as well as some dog training, so if that's of interest to you, be sure to stick around. In the meantime, between videos, you can also follow me on social media at tattoo.dogtrainer for more of the personal side of things. You can also follow at Top Dog Behavior for my business and more training informational side of things. So definitely check those guys out. If you are interested, you can always tag me in your posts on Instagram as well. I like to take a lot of those posts that I'm tagged in and put them in the end screen of my videos. So if you're interested in that, or if you just wanna share with me what you're up to with your pets, please tag me. I love to see how my content is helping you bond with your dogs better, bond with your cats better, give them a more well-rounded, wholesome life love to see it. It makes me super excited. So that's something you could be doing as well. With that, I will see you in my next video. And until then, bye.